Well, Jan Bello and er Sherry Eric almost messed up your name there, Sherry. You guys, uh, this was a very important game for you. If you didn't, uh, if you didn't win, you would have remained in last place. Now that you did, second place, right? Tied for second place. Yeah, we're tied with the Bombers, I believe. This is a, a fast-moving series. It sounded like at first that it, you know, was going to be pretty easy to figure out who's who, but. We're trading the leads back and forth, and, and one loss puts you in last place, and then another loss brings you up, and it's quite a seesaw. Sherry, predictions for the next game. I'm sorry? Predictions. Pioneers. I mean, we're going we're gonna to do it. Everybody thought we were down and out for some reason. I don't know why. I guess maybe because we lost two so far, but we came back and won these. So, you know, it's going to be the Pioneers all the way. We've got a good, strong team, men and women, and we've out, we outscored them both games, so got it. Well, what would the Bombers say? Well, they're going to be a little biased. Uh, just, just a tad, but that's to be expected. Uh, the fans are on their side, the referees are on their side, so we're fighting three against one, if you really look at it logically. But we're used to it, and it, we don't let it affect us, and we just try and do our game and come out on top. Now, speaking of fighting, I noticed a lot of that going on out there, honey. <laughs> well, what can I say? Sometimes you skate a real hard game and you don't have time for the fighting and sometimes there's just little things that they do that get under your skin. And when, it seems like maybe when you're tired or you're pushing a little harder, that's when it bothers you a little bit more. Uh, tonight was one of those nights that it bothered me. And do you feel, real quick, briefly, Sherry, do you feel offensive or defensive when you're out there skating? Both. Well, because I'm on the offense on one jam and play the defense on the other jam, so I feel both. And, you know, you just, you score, one one team can score, both teams can score at the same time, so you have to be on the offense and the defense at the same time. We got to go. We're running out of time. We wish you luck. Next game, ESPN, Bay Bombers, and the... Auditorium in San Jose, California. We've got the Bay Bombers in a rematch with the Southern Stars. That means Bill Hill and Cavallo and Company. This is game number nine in the Silver Cup Tournament. I'm Ken Kunzelman. We've got a jam in process in with me to talk a little bit about the action from the field here. The co-captain of the idle Midwest Pioneers at this point in the tournament, Sherry Harry. Joan Weston on a chase. Her work cut out for her. J.J. Burton Marsha gives to the Stars a commanding lead. That pack in disarray right now. Burton makes a break on the inside. Gibbs follows. It's called off and a big play out of the blocks for the Southern Stars. Led by Diane Sears. Sherry Eric. Now, was that wise for Weston to go in pursuit on that jam? I know that the Bombers lost their jammers. But with Weston out of the pack, where was their defense to come from? You're exactly right, Kenny. I don't think that was so bright of Joni to go out on the chase because she had the two jammers out. And with the two jammers out, and uh, Joni out there, when Joni leaves the bombers, there's nothing left to stop anybody, especially with Diane Superson. Tonight's the first night I skated against Diane in uh, years. And she's good. I've got a headache from skating against her tonight. Eight, eight point play there, four by Burton, four by the secondary, Marsha Gibbs, and so the Southern Stars out to a big, big lead here off the line, and the importance of game number nine, let's go down the standings, the Bombers at three and two, Express two and two, Pioneers two and two, Stars one and two. If the Bombers beat the Stars in this game, the Bombers have first place sewn up, they're guaranteed a spot in the championship playoffs. If the Stars win, they go into a three-way tie for second place with the Pioneers and the Express. It seems so simple when it started, Sherry, right? Everybody thought they knew who was going to be the team to beat. Yeah. All right, Barbara Baker, out number two to one, comes out on top. Weston at the rear of the pack, goes after Ann Calvillo. Bombers get on the board. They, Baker calls it off. Good move by Baker. There is one point, but it is a symbolic point. Let's watch this. Not yet. This we got Bill Hill protesting. I thought he was going to go after Joan Weston there for Oh, look out. Cabello gets away with murder. I tell you, she comes up from behind and gets you all the time. You've got to watch her constantly. Well, she got a penalty on that one. Good. Let's go back if we can now to watch the move on this play. Baker is behind, outnumbered, her team shocked with an eight point play against them. Got the moves. She thinks she learned some of that from her mama. Yeah, I think so. Baker goes to the infield for rest now. 8-1. It was only one point, but symbolically, that getting that first point on the board is so important, isn't it, Shirley? Yes, it is. Psychologically? Yes, it is, because it helps get you started and helps your team realize what you're doing and get you going. And she had to cut it off right away because she's being chased by two uh, opposers. Weston up 
Brett dueling with Diane Severson of the Southern Stars. Aldi Mark Wilson is the goal, but it's the Southern Stars with a jammer out on top. Connie Hayes, all four jammers out. Galloway of the Bombers, Gibbs of the Stars, Guerrero of the Bombers. Galloway down. Hayes takes off as Gibbs brings Guerrero back. Southern Stars, it's their play to make the break here. The only jammer in contention is Bunny Hayes. Bombers now send Jackie Guerrero out again, but she is two-thirds of a lap behind. Weston to block at the rear. Weston to stop Connie Hayes. Stars trying to blow this game out right at the very beginning. Keep Severson out of the way. Lock back on Hayes. Severson shot again. Here comes Jackie Guerrero moving up to the bombers. Severson to the rail. Hayes does not throw it off. by Connie. She should have had uh, brains enough to set it off with Jackie coming in there. There is one bomber point there, and although they went for it, in the end it was a gift, because Connie Haynes, the lead jammer for the Stars, could have called the thing off and prevented the point. There was a little asleep at the switch out there. Yes, she sure was. She caught the team the point. Bill Hill up there reading the riot act now. Amongst other things, Hill, John Weston's record of not being scored over in this tournament is something that Hill wants done in tonight. The roster, while we're looking at this, for the Southern Stars from Winsfield, number zero, Ann Calvello, 22, Diane Cheverson, 23, Connie Abordo, 24, Carol Gravello, no relation to Ann Calvello, 25 is J.J. Burton, 26, Marcia Gibbs, 27 is Connie Hayes. Eight to two. Stars by six, but it could be worse, or could have been worse. Serena, you've got to be a little bit ambivalent about what's happening out here now. Uh, the Bombers win. They've got a lock up. They're going to be one of the teams to play on. the Silver Cup Tournament. But I'll tell you what, Kenny, I've skated the Bombers a long time. I think the Stars are a team to be reckoned with. They, they skate hard and they put everything into it. I, I have, I've never skated as hard as I did tonight with the Stars. They're tough, they're strong, and they want it. John Weston, walking out J.J. Burton. Here comes Severson back. Goes back to the back. Severson, this block, flips Burton, Burton down, back up. Damage has already been done. There are two Southern Star points. J.J. Burton score, and there's... Get him off the track, for heaven's sakes. Weston protesting. Ten to two. Stars lead. Bill still wants... See, there, there still has not been a point over Weston, and, and Bill, I do not understand. It's just a does not mean that you win or lose a game. But that's, that's his... But it is becoming an all-consuming passion with Bill Hill. It certainly is. He just isn't thinking about anything else. And if he doesn't start thinking about something else, he's going to lose this one and be totally out of the, out of the playoffs. I don't understand. 10 to 2, his team leads, but the men are not on the track yet. And I wonder how much Hill is thinking about what he is going to do. Well, he obviously can't be thinking a lot about the men still because he can't leave the women's field alone. That could be his Achilles heel. After this jam, we will give you the bottom line. Jackie Guerrero tried to start it, snagged down. The Stars, Marsha Gibbs, but Gibbs will give it to Ann Teresa The oldest active skater, the longest skating career. Harry Truman was president of the United States when Ann Calvello was a rookie, and she is still skating. John Weston. Block bombers. Severson to assist Calvello. This might be scored over. Now Haynes is back. They've got two to assist. Weston moves up and there's not much anybody there. Weston blows the door open and the bombers are gonna pull away. Calloway, Shaw, Garello, Weston, Baker. Five running short. Let's go. 
importance in Bill Hill's mind is one thing and one thing he only wants. And as long as this keeps up somewhere along the line, the bombers are going to start striking Peter. I have sure to believe. Are. They sure are, because so far the stars, are, they're ahead. The, the score shows it, but I don't know. While I'm watching, it, it shouldn't be. They're not skating a good heads-up game. So far, this game has been a game of total and utter distraction on the part of the Southern Stars. They're lucky they came in on that first jam and scored that bundle right away because I don't think they're going to do much else. Danny Calloway out to start. J.J. Burton for the Stars. Mr. Calloway. John Weston not scored over yet. And 39 is Pam O'Brien. And time has run out in this period. I just wanted to say that not only did Joan not get scored over, but she didn't let anybody else get scored over either. And they must have knocked them down eight times. All important there. The Stars could have had a lot. Well, time has run out in this period. The Bombers 2, the Stars 10. We'll be back with the middle line right after this. Sherry Eric, next for this. Thank you, Ken. being helped off the track. The men trying to get their period underway. Weston leaves the track, a record intact. She still has not been scored over. And it bugs Bill Hill to no end. And here is Hill and Bill Grohl. And Grohl is going after Hill. The Stars lead 10-2. But that has been the smallest part of the story so far. Dave Perez challenged by the Bombers, Larry Lewis.